What's up, Sasha Life Fam? It's your boy, y'all. We are back today doing another video in China. You already know. We're going to do a mukbang. So if you don't know the definition of a mukbang here, here goes right here. Pretty much post talking about something. Eating. Uh, it's kind of weird to be eating and talking to people with food over your mouth. And you're trying to like crush your food and then you can't you can't speak because you're eating. But whatever, we're going to do it. We are at Hot Pots. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on the video. Make sure y'all hit that like button so we can reach more people. Yeah. Also, screenshot this video and tweet it so we can retweet and reply to you. Alright, we're gonna stop rapping. Let's get it popping. Start off with the, the Hot Pot itself. So we got a spicy Hot Pot right here. And then this is a mushroom. Pretty much like, you know what I'm saying? The broth. The broth. And then we got of course all veggies, corn, seaweed, noodles, tofu, okra, mushrooms, spinach, lettuce, carrots, Chinese cabbage, and some extra okra. And then we got the sauce right here. That sesame seed sauce with some garlic in it, some chives, green onions. The mine's got a little spicy jalapeno type of sauce in that thing. Yeah. And these must be new. Bread. Ain't bad. She said they had no eggs, no milk, or no. Uh... Yeah, and I got a pizza. And of course, we got uh, chopsticks. Cook here, huh? I forgot we supposed to talk. We just didn't walk around and uh, a little, little shopping. Mainly we wanted to look at some gold chains, some stuff we want to buy, so we know how much it costs and what we're going to get once we finish paying off this loan. You got to stay motivated you know how you use chopsticks, it's pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? They said, well, when I started off, I worked in this restaurant called Hanabi's, Japanese Steakhouse. And what they did was, the chopsticks came in like a little piece of paper. So they rolled the paper up, you can use anything now. Just put something small between the chopsticks right here, and then put a rubber band around it so that it'll hold the chopsticks like this. So then, from that point, all you gotta do is squeeze them to grab the food. You don't have to actually hold the chopsticks. And then once you master that, you can learn how to hold them yourself and then just maneuver. Some people hold them down here, you know what I'm saying? And some people hold them way back here. That's the hot one, so, And the way you eat this food, pretty much, Hot pot. So you got boiling broth, you put all your vegetables or so whatever you order into the broth. And in Asia, they eat family style, so you don't have your own plate. You pretty much take what you want from the middle, and if you got some decency, you put it on your plate first and they eat it. Some people just take what they want from the middle and then just put it in their mouth. But take your stuff from the uh, hot pot, dip it in your sauce, and crush. Yeah, man. We have a lot of manifestation coming true. Like, what I'm saying, like two black girls. I know. One black girl just came from South Africa. We got a Mac store here now. Y'all don't even know how big that is. I don't even wear this shit. But before, we would pretty much find somebody on WeChat, which is like. Uh, social media, text, like WhatsApp on a million. And uh, pretty much find somebody that was selling it and hope that it was the real stuff. It wasn't like a knockoff. And hope they had my skin tone. But at this max store, they got my skin tone. Luckily. They got the tester, but she still came back. They got an order. This is crazy. No love for the brown people out here. They, they, they do it like it ain't no brown Asians. You're not even all white. I got crushed to keep up with her, son, because she eat fast. She eat so fast. Like, I be trying to enjoy my food, and I be like, damn, son, like, now I got caught there. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, that's mine. How many did you have? It be a whole war out here. 
Hey, you been eating, don't you? Uh -huh. Literally since April 20th, we've been in the crib after work. Uh, even before, whenever we had a holiday or vacation time, we always left down here. You know what I'm saying? Like we went to Thailand or Vietnam, South Korea, you know what I'm saying? Home, some island. It's the first time we actually got time in Darwin, so we just been banging up these videos for the challenge, trying to get ahead so we can do some, some cool shit. Or be a tourist finally in Dali. And there's so much stuff to do here, like when, like when you got time, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of stuff you can do here, especially if you want to spend money. Like, it ain't that expensive, to be honest. I'm cheap. You heard me? I said, you buy it, bro. It's too big leaves. They, they say, yeah, I need it.
contract once again. Fuck, they get this. This about to finish out. So, uh, this is me, we paid up our student loans in a year and a half. Yeah. I said a year and a half, man. And y'all niggas got it, having phone in the other. We met two black Americans in China. One that's gonna come visit. Another one, both we doing projects with, major projects. Two other people that in the city just got to the city. What you boo? What's going on in your life? What's on your mind? What are you going to think about, man? Think about writing? I think I've been thinking too much. I'm going to write a book. Because I got old grandparents. They have a lot of wisdom. They from totally different backgrounds. Crazy, right? Opposite sides of the road track. Property. So I really want to know their story. I've heard about it. I don't still here, but Grandpa just turned 93. Weeks. That's why we've been home for six weeks. I'm coming down. I need some of that water. Yeah, you can say, put your mouth on it. Make us just stink like garlic. Mm. <laughs> garlic in that sauce. Thanks for my water. Thanks, Terry, the whole time. <laughs> So, we have to go to practice, we have the Gatorade and stuff, so I'll be like, yo, let me pop that joint real quick. Go ahead. While they drinking that joint, they're staring like... I don't know, black people, we don't put our lips on for the most part. We like, pop that joint. But when you got like white friends, you know what I'm saying, my white friends, so I like that. They be like... I fucked up a couple times, I was like, yeah, you want to pop this one? You want some? I'm like, yeah. And it is straight to the lips, like. The and that lips, was good, I'm like, you no, got that joint, don't worry about it, I get another, I got another. Hold on. Give me some noodles, huh? You just ate all the noodles, I've been waiting, I just call these noodles in the cooking. Shit get real when you eat, don't matter if you're married or not. You can square up right now, <laughs> So I swear I'll never forget that meme, so I hope this shit will never come true. But the meme was like me crushing my good old food right in the car right before I go in the house and feed the kids noodles. I was like, damn. Busted the Tammy said, you never get to eat. She said, she said whether your husband asks you for some food or your kids. Somebody always got to eat your food. She was like, she never get Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you love it and only if you love it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, so you can reach more people. And yeah, man, welcome to the family. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Mukbang, peace. Mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. Make sure to remind touch my corn. Yup. Everything in there is mine. I'm eating it all. What you doing, girl? Let's see the sexiest way you can ever eat lettuce. Sell me your lettuce. Oh, you right to it. You just got right to it. Right to the back. She likes it. She's a... How's your... Huh? How's your mom? How's your mom? How's your mom? How's your mom? Stop stuttering on this. Life. Said, I'm living my best life. Made a couple M's with my best friends. Turned on my L's in the last hands. You see the whip pulling up, it's like screw. Dreams pulling up, I'm like screw. I'm living my best life.